All right, going to head in then to set seven of our Trobo Team League match for, for the day. This was, was uh, played sometime over last week. In fact, all the games can be played whenever those players have time. So this was played over pretty much the whole last week between Team Unrivaled Gaming and Team Composite. Current score is 4-2 in favor of Team Unrivaled. And as soon as I can get the replay loaded up, we're going to head into our seventh match in this best of nine series. Chaos Master X versus Touche on Frost. Platinum League match between two Platinum League players. And the reason I say that is you can play in a match higher than your rating, but you cannot play in a match lower than your rating. So it could be something other than Platinum League players. But it is, in fact, two Platinum League players. Also, if you just got promoted, it doesn't screw up your uh, your match for that week. So, say if you get promoted, if you get promoted, outed, and we're already scheduled to play the silver match, even though you're gold now, you can play in that match. Anyway, spawning here on the upper left, left on Frost, we have playing as our teal Zerg, Chaos Master X. And spawning in the lower left is our yellow Protoss. We have Touche. Playing for Team Composite. Chaos Master X playing for Team Unrivaled Gaming. So, first Overlord being sent in the wrong direction. Means it's going to be a little bit before Chaos Master figures out where Touche is, except that he's sending out an early drone scout, which is going in the right direction, so he's actually going to figure out real quick. Or, no, it looks like that's headed cross map. And uh, Touche is sending a probe out in the wrong direction as well, so neither of the players finding each other really that quickly. He might well figure it out if he uh, finds the probe with the, with the drone, though. The drone does see the probe. Not sure if he was watching, but at least gets him a little bit of information. Touche certainly figures it out now, uh, sending the probe. Well, no, he's sending the probe still in the towards the wrong base, so didn't exactly uh, figure out where that was going. Whereas Chaos Master is in fact sending the drone over to the correct base just as his overlord is about to arrive at the other wrong one. In the meantime, we have a pool first build coming down out of Chaos Master. His first hatchery also now down, so pretty typical opening so far, no gas. So pool first, no gas out of Chaos Master. Whereas we have a uh, gateway first First opener out of Touche, making a cyber core before expanding. And his probe's finally going to go into the right base now. See the timing on Chaos Master's expansion here. And see the timing on that gas. Gas being just taken there for Chaos Master. Chaos Master choosing to chase Touche's probe around a little bit with one of his drones. And the Queen popping out, uh, definitely uh, making sure that that drone gets the heck out of Dodge. Probably uh, trying to make sure to prevent something like the Cannon Rush from occurring, but uh, there's no Forge back there, so that wasn't really a possibility anyway. Not that he knows that. We do see a second Nexus coming down for Touche, it is natural. Whereas Chaos Master's natural is just finished up. Mothership Core just about to finish up for Touche in Warp Gate on the way. Using the first gas to prioritize the Mothership Core over Warp Gate tech. In the meantime, we have uh, Chaos Master's first two Zerglings heading out across the map. 
see if they can get some scouting done or at least take some early map control. Probe hanging out over here for Touche, probably to make a warp in pylon some point in the future or get some more scouting done. Pretty decent map vision with overlords for Chaos Master. Positioning his overlords in good, pretty safe places to watch what's going on. Roach Warren and Zergling Speed, both on the way for Chaos Master. Zergling Speed about halfway done, the Roach Warren just starting up. Stargate come down for Touche, so we're going to see Stargate play today, as well as another gateway and uh, Warp Gate Tech just about to finish up. This probe that was hanging out here was found by these two uh, scouting zerglings. Looks like uh, they might be able to get her. Their speed just finished up, so yeah. Free probe, free probe, and first blood, as they'd say over on Base Trade TV. Got a ton of Zerglings on the way, and a good amount of Roaches already made for Chaos Master. Looks like we're going to be looking at a pretty early push here, with almost nothing to defend against it. And the only main thing he's made is an Oracle, which is headed across the map to try to do some Econ damage. But uh, Queens are pretty good at shutting down Oracles, so... I don't really see that Oracle getting that much done, which is why you don't see Oracle play that often from a Protoss Aus versus Zerg. He does get a few probes with that Oracle before the Queen starts taking it down. Four probes, and actually takes out the Queen, the second Queen not being pulled. Oracle can 1v1 a Queen quite quite handily, as you just saw. Rather than uh, doing anything to defend it, all the probes are just pulled, knowing that the Oracle can't do actually do anything against the base, but... This little army for Chaos Master... Uh, Looks like it's taken some damage, probably battered itself against the wall here. Yeah, yeah, I uh, got Photon Overcharge. But this is a pretty scary army for Chaos Master as soon as that Photon Overcharge finishes. It's not quite done yet. He's still choosing to move forward with those Lings and Roaches to try to take down that Stargate. Probably should have waited for the Photon Overcharge to at least stop blazing. Loses a ton of Zerglings for free. And we see a Void Ray coming out to start working on those roaches. Besides, that's definitely the time to move forward, and it is. It's, otherwise, these forces are all forfeit anyway. Really nice force field to limit the surface area on this starport. The starport still does go down. Looks like that's the only Void Ray we're going to see for quite a while out of Touche. At least until oh, the new Stargate finishes, if, if he even makes another Stargate. In response, that oracle's headed back across the map. Uh, we do have a spore crawler in place to take it down, though, and between the spore crawler and the queen, the oracle isn't going to get anything done. Yeah, it's down to like one health and no more new kills. Yeah, literally one health. One health for the win. Or for the lose at that point. There's, there is another spore crawler back in the main, so looks like Touche is pretty well defended at this point. Most of a wall off with those two who uh, Evo Chambers, plus one Carapace on the way, and one of them as well as Grooved Spines on the way for his Hydralisks, which are going to start to come out. However, back home we see uh, Touche is converted over to using Robos instead of Stargates. It's not having remade that Stargate, instead making more gateways and uh, having a Robo that I believe is already finishing as that Stargate went down. But we see a lot more gateways coming out and... Uh, <clears throat> Immortals being pushed out of that robo. To go along with the one void ray. Either way though, hydras are the answer, and hydras are being made, going to looks to be mostly a hydra ling composition for Chaos Master. These air units just kinda hanging out. Along with our little friend the Leoti. 
Gotta love the random map creeps. Anyway, so we got this uh, Void Ray and all these stalkers coming in and find the army of Chaos Master. Now, Touche does have a much superior army supply at this point. And nearly the same worker count having uh, gotten all those worker kills from that Oracle, so... It's looking pretty good for Touche at this juncture. Hydras, though, Hydras can be pretty good against the composition we see here. But those clutch force fields actually holding most of the army in the base, using that uh, partial wall off actually against Chaos Master. Time warp going down, and looks like there's just way too much Protoss here. Those Hydras getting high ground and doing what they can, but. It's looking pretty good for our Protoss player. However, this Void Ray is going to go down. That uh, certainly removes a fair bit of the sting of this attack with the Void Ray going down to that, spy oh, that Spore Crawler. But it looks like there's just way too much Protoss and not enough Zerg here. This Natural is going to fall. Good game, well played, is called. That'll be it as uh, Composite takes... Uh, as it takes a game, bringing our total to four to three.